Hi there, my name is Cam and welcome to another how-to video in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Today, we'll be looking at how to create an SFT account using SSH keys in Marketing Cloud. So to make an FTP account, we can go to the setup screen, which is located under your name in the top right hand corner. Once we're there, we can look under data management and click on FTP accounts. Here, we can see information about our FTP instance, including currently provisioned FTP accounts and how to add a new FTP account. During the FTP account creation process, we can choose to use an SSH key as a login method. However, to use this, we need to first create an SSH key. So before we go and create our new FTP account, let's go under the key management screen and create an SSH key. On the key management screen, we can press the create button to create a new key. On the creation screen, we are given some options of what types of keys you want to create. Here we can choose the SSH option. Note that we do have to upload a key file to create the SSH key, which we'll have to generate first. If we take a look at the documentation on how to create SSH keys in Marketing Cloud, it says we need to download a third party tool such as SSH KeyGen or PuttyGen to generate the SSH keys. I find the PuttyGen one to be easy to use, so for this video I'm going to download and use that one. We can go to the PuttyGen website where you can see that this software is used to create public and private keys. So you can scroll down to the download section and download the appropriate version for our device. I'm using a Windows PC, so I'll download the Windows version. Installing PuttyGen is very easy, we just follow the installer wizard. If you're using a work device, you may need to speak to your IT administrator and get them to install this for you. If they ask why you need it, just point them to this video. So once the PuttyGen is installed, we can run the program. Make sure you run PuttyGen and not just Putty. When the program opens, you'll see Putty Key Generator as the name. With the program open, we can refer to the Salesforce documentation which says we need to create an RSA key in an open SSH2 PEM format, which can be done by selecting the RSA key type on the screen or selecting the SHA2 RSA key from the key menu. The documentation also says that a 4096 bit strength is recommended and a 2048 bit strength is a minimum. We can adjust this by editing the text in the lower right hand corner. One thing to consider here is that your FTP client may have limitations on what types of key files it can use. I'm going to be using FileZilla in this video. At the time of recording, it can only accept keys using version 2, which means I need to go into the key menu and select parameters for saving key files and change the PPK file version to use version 2. If you have problems uploading your key file to your FTP client, check to see if this is the reason why. With the configuration done, we can now press the Generate button. PuttyGen will ask us to move our mouse a bit, and this is used to create some randomization to assist the key generation process. After we move our mouse around, the process will complete, and we'll see our key created on the screen. These keys allow for the use of a passphrase, which can be used to further protect your files. With the passphrase entered, I'll click the Save Public Key button and save my public key, followed by the Save Private Key button, and then save a copy of the private key. With our two key files saved somewhere nice and safe, we can close down PuttyGen. So now let's go back into Marketing Cloud and we can resume creating our SSH key. We can give our SSH key a name and then press the Browse button to search for the public key that we created using PuttyGen. Once selected, we can press Open. Next, we'll press the public key button on the screen this setting is for FTP usage only, which is what we're doing today. Now we can press save, and after a few seconds, we should see that our key has been created. Now we can navigate back to the FTP account screen and create a new FTP account. On the first screen, we can see that an FTP username has been created for us. Here, we'll also have to add a password. Now this password does not have to be the same as the passphrase that we used earlier during the key creation step. We also have to make sure that we choose the correct user permissions. Read-only permissions will give the user read access to the FTP and nothing further, while write permissions will allow the user to add 
edit and remove files. The full access permission is what's usually required in most use cases. On the next screen, we can choose how the users will authenticate access to the FTP. Here we can leave it as password only, or we can use the SSH key that we've created by selecting one of the SSH options. With the SSH key chosen, we can press save. To connect to the Marketing Cloud FTP, you'll need to download an FTP client. In this video, I'm using FileZilla. However, there are plenty of other FTP clients that you can choose from. Using FileZilla, you can set up a new FTP site by pressing the Site Manager button and then filling in all the details as shown. The information you need can be found on the FTP account screen in Marketing Cloud. With a new FTP site created, we can press Connect. If you're using FileZilla, then you should see the connection status at the top of the screen. This will tell you if you encounter any errors while trying to connect. If you're at this step and having trouble connecting to the FTP, make sure you copy any errors you find here and provide them to your IT administrator or to the Salesforce support team. If everything's working fine, then after a few seconds, you'll start to see some folders in your Marketing Cloud FTP. And that's how you create an SFTP user in Marketing Cloud using SSH keys. And just a few closing tips before we finish out this video. Make sure you keep your public and private key files secure. Treat them like a password and don't send them via email or leave them in unsecure locations. I like to keep my key files in a password protected zip file for extra security. And while creating an SSH key protected user is great for server to server integrations, it's not so great for creating FTP access for your IT or marketing team. For that, I recommend using the password option and setting the FTP password to expire every 30 to 90 days. It's a slight inconvenience for your users, however it will ensure that your FTP is kept secure if someone leaves your business. Alright, and that'll do it for today. If this video has helped you, then please throw it a like and let me know you enjoyed it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Salesforce Marketing Cloud videos.